Good morning, guys. Thanks for tuning in with us here at Trans West, Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Michaela Geis. This week I have another living quarters I want to run you guys through. This one is a 2023 Logan Coach Select 814 four horse living quarters. So kind of the way you can figure out what size this is when you're listening to everything that I just said. It's a Logan Coach, so that's who makes it. The Select is going to be your trim package in your interior. And then the 814 is going to mean eight feet wide and it's a 14 foot short wall. So that's kind of how you guys know what sizing we're referring to here. And then a four horse. So it's going to be a, sl a slant load, side load, full width rear tack back there. So kind of a lot going on in this living quarters, lots of options. Before we get to the trailer, we're going to pull up that drawing, show you guys kind of what the dimensions look like rather than just listening to me tell you about them. So running through that together, we are looking at eight feet wide. You're going to have a seven, six tall on this guy. You'll have your dual jacks up front. We're going to have 8K axles under this one with 17.5 inch rims. And then you can kind of see the length right there up at the top of your drawing. It's going to show 43 and a half overall nose to tail. You're looking at just shy of 35 feet on your floor at 34.9. And then your short wall there at that 14.6. So we'll go ahead and get to the trailer itself here, kind of run you guys through it, show you everything that it has to offer here in person. Um, and just so you guys are aware when you're watching this video, this trailer is still available. So let's go ahead and start up here. Before we get into the trailer, you guys are gonna notice this awning up here. It does have speakers on the awning itself, on your arms there. It is an electric awning, so there will be button inside. Just push it, roll it out. If you guys do wanna hang out out here, you're gonna have kind of the outdoor living space. And you do have a light above your entry as well as a grab bar and a fold down step. So let's go ahead and step inside and check out your interior. So like we mentioned earlier, this one is at 14.6. So with that on your drop wall here, you're gonna have this sofa sleeper option putting that on your drop wall so that it kind of uses up your space, gives you three different sleeping options in this size short wall. So a very accommodating trailer here. You will have your two steps up into your gooseneck nose where you're gonna have your queen size mattress up there. We did option this trailer with a TV up in your nose. So you are gonna have two TVs in this trailer. Big wardrobe closets up there. You're going to have your windows at your bed there as well. They're going to have day and night blinds. So you can kind of change your lighting there. And then you're going to have more counter or more closet space up here. You'll actually have some behind your TV as well. That TV is on a swing out arm. So that will move and kind of point whatever direction you want it to point. But then you do get more cabinetry up here as well. So lots of storage space in these living quarters. And then what we've done in our slide out over here, this actually is an eight foot slide out to get in your dinette as well as another big wardrobe storage space over here. So one of my favorite things to have in the trailers is the dinette lately being because a lot of people have asked me about having the dinette in their trailer because they work from home or they work remotely, especially if you're traveling down the road, horse showing, rodeoing, Maybe you just want to camp and get out there and kind of spend your summer out on the road with your horses, seeing new places, and you do still need to work. This is a great setup for kind of your office, your desk setup. Pull up your laptop there, get all your paperwork spread out. This works really well for that. It also does turn into another sleeping space if you did need that. So kind of some versatility there. Um, underneath your dinettes, you do get a lot of storage space as well. This option or this space under here just works really well for if you are using these, the sofa sleeper and the dinette as um, another sleeping area, you're gonna have extra bedding. So that space works really well to kind of get those extra pillows, get the extra sheets and comforters in there out of the way when you're not using them. And then over here, huge wardrobe closet, just kind of planning on people that have a living quarters of this size, they're gonna go down the road. They're either gonna have uh, a lot of time spent on the road or they're going to have multiple family members or traveling partners with them accounting for all these sleeping spaces we just kind of planned ahead and knew there would be a lot of 
equipment going with you guys down the road. So giving you lots of storage space to get all that on the trailer with you, but also keep it like up off the floor, out of the way, behind doors. That way it's not just getting super cluttered in here. You're gonna have a space for everything in this trailer. Um, I did mention the two TVs. So your second one is over here. It's also gonna pull out and swivel around so you can kind of point it more at your dinette or more at your sofa sleeper. So you can kind of see that from anywhere. You do get an AM FM radio in here. These, it does have different zones on it. So you can play it either in here, out there, or both. If you wanted to play it throughout your trailer, if you are kind of taking advantage of that awning in your outdoor living space, you can play some music out there as well. In your kitchen here, we do have your fridge freezer combination, really good size on this one. So you are getting lots of space to take this, take your food with you as well. You know, a lot of people may end up eating out going down the road as well. If you do have leftovers, plenty of space in here for that. Or if you do end up cooking, this is a really good, really well set up kitchen on this one. So if you did do some cooking on here, um, there's a lot of extra space to bring all that food with you in this size combination. One of my favorite things in this living quarters is the size of this sink. You know, in a lot of these smaller short walls, this one's kind of like a average size, but you'll get like half the size sink. It'll be a lot smaller. I really like the size of this one, just kind of giving you lots of space to wash those cooking appliances if you are doing so. And then your cooktop over here, this one is not a recessed one. It is up on top of your counter space. So what that, I think a great part of having it up here is you, you are gonna lose a little bit of that counter space, but you do have the lid. You can set stuff up on top of the lid, but having it up here, it's not gonna limit that pot size. So when it's up on top, you really can expand and use kind of any size pot versus having it down into the counter. And then you kind of run into the counter edges and you're just more limited. This one, you're not as limited. So you can use bigger pots there. And then extra storage throughout down below, you're gonna have Lots of drawers. I love the width of these drawers. They're really wide. You're going to have all your TV remotes in here. It comes with a bunch of owner's manuals being brand new. Really good sized drawers. Again, just using up all of that space that you could possibly need to bring stuff with you. And then countertops. Just I know I just mentioned you're kind of kind of eating up all of your countertop space with that bigger sink and then your non-recessed cooktop. You do have a countertop extension on this trailer. So that is gonna flip up once you guys are inside. Flip that up and then you're gonna get a lot more counter space over there. So it kind of makes up for that there. If you don't end up using your cooktop, you also are gonna have a microwave in this one. It is not a microwave convection oven, it's just a microwave. Really good size one though. Tray got a little crazy. But you do have a microwave on board of this trailer. Again, a really big one, so. I do appreciate the size of that one. Again, just really good, well set up kitchen on this one. I like this one a lot. And then some more pantry space in here as well. And then back here, we do have the full bathroom on this one. This one does not have the pocket door, doesn't slide. This one is a full door. So I actually had a Logan myself, a living quarters that was like this one. It was a stock back, but it had an actual door on it as well. And I really actually really liked that feature versus having your sliding pocket door. So I thought that was nice and they are nice wood doors. So stepping into your bathroom, we'll start over here on the right hand side. You have your bathroom vanity with your bathroom sink. You have storage space below and above behind your mirror as well. And that is really deep, you guys. It might be hard to see on camera, but it is very deep. So you are getting, again, just really using that storage in this trailer. I keep saying that, but lots of storage. You will have a toilet here. Your pass-through door leads to your stall space, which again, we can check that out once we get back there as well. But just noting it does have that. Another huge wardrobe over here. Again, very, very deep, you guys. It goes way back into the corner there and it is carpeted. So this is a great spot to store clothes and stuff. It's not gonna slide around on wooden shelves. You can keep it a little bit cleaner, a little bit stickier, lasting a lot nicer, longer. And then your shower. So you do have a shower in here as well with the skylight above it. These are magnetic doors there. I think having the skylight over your shower is just a really nice feature for 
taller people like myself makes it feel a little bit roomier and also just brings in a lot more natural light versus having all these lights in here. Again, so 14 six short wall, you guys, full, full bathroom, eight foot slide with your dinette, your sofa sleeper, your full kitchen in here, all done by Outlaw themselves. It does have an onboard generator. All of your controls are gonna be up here as we exit this trailer. Um, and then just so you know, I'm just referring to my spec sheet here, it does have a 10 gallon water heater on this one. So it is upgraded from your standard six. Up here as we step out, this is gonna be your slide room control. It is an electric slide out. So push of a button brings it in and pushes it out. Your control for your awning, like I said, is also electric. Pushes it in and pushes it out, pulls it back in. Your water heater control. This is checking your levels of all your tanks. You should get a 60 gallon fresh water tank and then 30 each of black and gray. Your water pump here. And then your onboard generator controls right here. This will be your fuel gauge showing you what you got left, your hours once it's turned on. And then you're going to want to, especially on these cold mornings, hold it down and prime it. And then your start button's up there. So we'll step out and check out the rest of our trailer. So as we make our way back to your load space back here, you will notice that this trailer actually does have a combination of drop down windows and bus windows on the hip side here. So we went ahead and upgraded to have every other still have two drops and then two slotting bus windows on this one. Below that, you're going to have our two 8K axles that we mentioned earlier. That is on a spread axle. So you guys will notice it is spread just a little bit further apart. They've got individual fender flares there black aluminum rims and your 17.5 inch wheels. What that spread is doing for you guys here on this trailer, just so you guys know why we've kind of done that. It's not an air ride, but having that spread is just gonna make it ride a little bit smoother. So not quite as smooth as what you're getting with an air ride suspension, but having the spread just kind of spreads out the bumps. When you do hit a bump, it's just gonna hit each ax a little bit differently and kind of just distribute the weight of that and distribute the disturbance of a bump. So kind of just smoothing it out versus just a regular axle setup on there. It is a four horse slant load. It is a side load because we do have a full width rear tack back here. So you're gonna have this extra wide ramp getting into here and you will have your butt bar right here. So that way for your last horse, you can kind of crawl under that butt bar and get in there, get them untied before they decide to run out the trailer on you. This trailer has been upgraded to have this polylast flooring in here. So you guys will notice it's this tan permanent pour in rubber flooring. On these Logans, this polylast flooring actually is permeable, meaning any liquids will drain through this flooring. So what you would see if you crawled underneath this trailer or if you looked I think Logan actually does some really cool videos on their site as well of what their floors look like before they pour this in. So it is going to look similar to wooden planks, but they're made out of aluminum and then they're slatted so that your liquids will drain through. But what's really cool is before that, it's not just aluminum under there. It's they actually coat their aluminum planks in the same black vortex lining that you're going to see throughout this trailer. So they do the aluminum planks, then they spray that on there, which is uh, an extra protectant so that when your urine does soak through there, the acid in that urine is not eating away at aluminum flooring. It's actually protected by that vortex lining. It's a really cool flooring system that they've done on their trailers. As we step up in here, you'll notice I have all my dividers clipped open right now. I just wanted you guys to kind of see the space here and see how this works. You do have the option of clipping these all open. That way, maybe if, like right now we're on a little bit of a slope, it's not bad, but if you were on a worse slope, you wanted to clip all these open, that way you can load your one horse, unclip it, and then shut the divider behind them and kind of do that as you go, especially if you're by yourself. You don't have to worry about the dividers shutting on you before you're ready. Our first one is a stud wall. So you do have your stud wall off of your escape door. 
runs clear to the floor. And then up there you have your escape door. So really cool, I guess we'll just step up here. I'll just start up here. I'm running backwards today, guys, but we'll start up front and work our way back. So you have the escape door. And then on this one, you don't have the manger on it. You can have the manger on the escape door, but we've opted to just go ahead and do a corner feeder in its place instead. So that way, if you aren't using this for a horse, you want to use this as a mud room or an extra storage space, you can actually come in that door right there and then you'll have your stud wall here. And then you can get right into your living quarters bathroom through your pass-through door. So if you are, I mean, it's wet out there, guys, today. It's raining. It's going to snow this weekend. If you're getting muddy, if you're getting soaking wet clothes, maybe you're starting to wear your coveralls even because I'm getting really close to that point already, guys. Step in here, strip off all that wet, muddy, sticky clothing, and then just walk right into your bathroom. And then you're able to clean off, put on fresh, dry clothes, and be in your living quarters. So I think that works that's just a great feature to have that option if you choose to do that. You could also hang up. We've seen people add extra bridle hooks here. And then that way they can hang their jackets and stuff up out here. Or you can just use this for extra space with pitchforks, Rubbermaid tubs, muck buckets, all that good stuff. You could use it for your grain bags. Just really great dual purpose here if you're only hauling three head. So lots of versatility in your stud wall here. Um, we do have the roof vents in here as well, guys. Up above each stall, you're gonna have that roof vent, two-way roof vent. So it'll pull the air in, but also draw the air out and give you guys a really good airflow. That's kind of your first divider setup. Moving back to your second stall, you are gonna have a manger on this one, another roof vent above each one, of course. And then you're also gonna have drop-down windows on the head side. We'll check those out when we get outside. Really great feature though, when you do have your mangers there and those drop down windows, you can kind of access your manger if you need to. Set some more hay in there, put a water bucket in there, let them drink if you stop somewhere. Your second divider is just a standard partial divider here. As you can see, these are all padded dividers. So kind of same setup on this stall here. You're gonna have your roof vent, your manger drop down window but I wanted to show you guys this last divider here. So since we are working with a side load here, if this was just a normal divider, it's gonna hit kind of way out here. That makes it a really narrow space to get your horse in here, especially if they are a little bit nervous. Having the angled entrance with the ramp, and then you're kind of shortening up their space here. This one's actually a telescoping divider. So it does shrink all the way up and kind of get way out of the way really opens up your space here to get in this third horse that way it just gives them more room gives them a little bit it allows them to relax and kind of walk in a little bit safer versus having it something way out here like this so just so you guys are able to see that this one is a telescoping divider and then you have your fourth slant so your fourth one is always typically just a little bit wider than the rest again accounting for this larger door here as we exit there's a light switch right here controlling your lights in here you're gonna have one light over each slant but your control is right there so we'll go ahead and step around to your full width rear tack back here check this out one of my favorite features guys once you have one of these tack setups you're not going to want to go back I actually just discussed that with a customer on the phone i think on monday she was telling me once she got a trailer with one of these, she couldn't look at another trailer without one of these. Just gives you so much storage space. Again, like I said, in the living quarters, having all those cabinetries and storage space up there, that's for yourself and your items and your traveling partners and your family and friends. Back here, this is all gonna be for your horses. So you are bringing four horses on this trailer. You're gonna have extra tack. You're gonna have extra equipment planning to be on the road for a long period of time or even just a long weekend. So this really opens up a lot of space for you. You're gonna have your four saddle racks here. They do swing in and out. So it's easy access to get them right here without having to step up inside your trailer to get to them. Once you do have to step inside, we did add a fold down step on this one though. So it does make it a little bit easier, but it's nice to be able to get to your saddles without climbing in and out. On your door over here is where your saddle pads are gonna be. So it does also swing out, got clipped shut right now. So when you do, you can clip it shut when you're done with it. If you're gonna travel down the road, you don't have to worry about them moving around on you, but you can swing that out, throw your pads on there, and then clip it back shut against your door. 
I really like that they went ahead and carpeted this full door here. I think that's a really nice upgrade to carpet the entire tack room, especially just kind of protect not only your trailer, but also all of your tack and equipment. But I really like that feature. And then you have a huge, really long brush tray on this one. It's gonna be the whole length of the door, which this is an oversized door, you guys. It does have that same carpet in it, but that is removable, so that can come out. Something does spill in there. It's really easy to pull that out, spray it off, let it dry and stick it back in there. But having this right here, you're just right now your entire tack room is swung out size, outside, easy access, getting to all of the things that you might need. So this is gonna just give you access to the smaller items. So fly spray, we're about end of that season, but mane and tail detangler, curry combs, hoof picks, rubber bands, mane and tail brushes, all kinds of stuff. You're gonna be able to fit everything that you need in there. Once you get inside of this trailer though, you're still gonna have an enormous amount of space in here to store even more items. So I'll just kind of start right here. You do have your water tank in this one. It's gonna fill from the top and then you've got your two spigots down below. You'll have a hose for that lower spigot. If you wanted to, you're probably gonna need a longer one just based on where this one is inside this trailer, where it's located. It's a little bit further from your opening. So maybe grab a longer hose for that one. You can run it out your door and you can use it to hose horses off, hose your dogs off, hose your boots off, fill up water buckets outside or you do have that higher up spigot there to fill buckets there as well. Again, fully carpeted all throughout here. This entire partition wall covered in carpet and bridle hooks. All of your bridles, halters, tie downs, reins, anything like that that you have on here, it's gonna have buckles, it's gonna have conchos, it's gonna have snaps. All of that is gonna, the carpet is protecting your trailer, it's also protecting those, the tacks. So when you get metal swinging on aluminum sheets, it's gonna leave those kind of black streaks that you guys have seen maybe on some used trailers that don't have this. And then it also keeps it a little bit quieter in here. So when you have that metal on metal, it's gonna be a lot louder, especially for your horses right on the other side of this wall. So your carpet's just gonna deaden that noise, make it a little bit quieter for them as well. And then one of my favorite features of a rear tack is the shelving system that they put in these. Everyone will kind of do it a little bit different depending on how your tack space is set up. My full width rear tack didn't have these. So once coming here and seeing all the trailers that are equipped with these, it just makes so much sense, especially for all your miscellaneous items. That works really well for extra sheets, extra sport boots, bell boots, maybe extra, extra brushes as well. I think your options are just kind of unlimited with this space there. Right now, all mine is stacked in rubber made tubs, so I think that would work a lot better and then still frees up all that extra space in there if you did need to keep a couple tubs. So there's your full width rear tack. And then also there are lights in there as well. So you're gonna have your light switches here for your tack room and then lights over your tie rings. Right here is gonna be your ladder to access your roof. You do have your own in 4K generator up there as well as a, let's see what it is, eight feet hay rack. So with the sheeted sides, but it is eight feet. And then your generator's up there, but your fill is gonna be right down here. It's really easy when you do pull through a truck stop to fill up your truck. Just pull forward a little bit and fill up your gen. Don't worry about having to climb up there to do that. So as I said, you're having drop down windows on your head side here. You do have jail bars that would stay up. So if you do wanna drive with these drops down, they're just gonna stick into a, like a little rubber grommet right there and stay down so they don't catch any wind and kind of blow up in the air on you but your jail bars do drop down as well so when you are needing to access that manger space there if you're just wanting to check on your horses you want to throw some more feed in there you stop somewhere and you want to stick um, set a water bucket in there and water them while you're pulled over it's really nice to have that option to be able to get in there and access them but your jail bars do come with that window screen so that way when you do drive down the road like this you don't have to worry about anything getting in there and getting in their eyes or getting into the trailer with them just protects them always better to keep everyone safe and then if you don't quite need that you're going to have a sliding bus window on that drop down window as well if you just need a, a little bit less ventilation and then this trailer does have the mangers so underneath your mangers you're going to get even more storage you really just can't 
Can't go wrong with all that storage. So all that space inside of there, you've got some bridle hooks. There's some light in there as well. So even more visibility, but lots of bridle hooks to hang up extra equipment. This space also works really well for grain bags. So let's say you're using your front stall either for a horse or for your mud room. You got your hay up top on your hay rack. You got all your tack and equipment in your tack room. Now you got to put your grain bag somewhere. This actually works really well for grain bags, especially that last one that you guys were just in because it has the axles cut into it. This one's going to be nice and wide. So lots more space in there for like winter blankets and stuff this time of year. But that one that you guys are checking out right there, it's got your axles cut into it. So it kind of tightens up that space there. That works really well to set grain bags, you guys. So stick your grain bags in there. Don't have to worry about them tipping over. That can kind of be your mobile feed room. You can scoop right out of those bags, feed your horses right here off of your trailer. I really liked that when I had that on my living quarters. That was just a, a really nice option. All the grain and supplements just right there. And then I would shove all my extra magnetic blankets, winter blankets, just traveling gear. Their quick wraps, all that extra stuff that they needed just to get down the road, I'd just shove it all in that front one. So lots and lots and lots of storage on this trailer. Have your escape door up here, which we saw inside. It's got that removable corner feeder. Again, really great space to use as that mud room. Great access to get into your living quarters, bathroom, change your clothes, and then get into your living quarters and settle in for the day. Okay, moving forward, we got our slide out right here. We've got that slit out. It does have an awning above it, just protects your trailer from anything kind of any water seeping inside while your slide out is pushed out up here you've got your city water connection and then your fresh tank draining right there your fresh tank fill is going to be inside of there stepping around to our drop wall up here kind of got a lot going on under here we did upgrade this trailer to have the two 30 pound propane tanks so they're the big ones up above that you're gonna have two batteries in their plastic battery boxes and then over here next to your batteries you actually have this little disconnect switch so right now i've got it on so i'm using my batteries to run all the lights that you guys just seen but you can also flip your batteries off so right now our trailer is completely entirely off this is a great feature, you guys. If you're running late, you pull in somewhere, you unhook, and you want to maybe go grab dinner or something, you're not sure if you shut off the light in your tack room. Maybe you just can't remember. All you got to do is unhook your trailer, flip off your disconnect, and then go on with your business, and you don't have to worry about draining your batteries on accident. Take advantage of that because I have done that where I have this option and I forgot to use it, and I drained my batteries, had to replace my batteries. So take advantage of that right there matching spare tire your dual electric jacks under here and then all that black spray on vortex lining that you guys are seeing i mentioned on the flooring it's what it's doing under there is protecting your aluminum slatted flooring from the acid soaking through what it's doing up here is protecting your drop wall from getting backsplash on the road rocks kicking up down a dirt road just protecting your trailer it's a really great product and they use it really well on their trailers. Being a brand new, it is 2023, you're gonna get some great warranties through Logan. You're gonna get an eight year structure warranty and then two year hitch to bumper on everything else, including the living quarters. That warranty will take place from purchase date. So it's not whenever this trailer was built, it's whenever you roll off the lot with it. I think that about covers it, you guys. We went through a lot today. Feel free to reach out. Like I always say, I'm glad to send you these spec sheets. I'm glad to send you that drawing that we reviewed earlier so you could take a closer look at it. This trailer, if you are gonna reference it, just so you guys know, this trailer is winterized. That's what this other sticker is for up here. It lets us know it was winterized yesterday. So it is ready for our cold weekend. This trailer right here, if you're watching online, feel free to scroll to the bottom of your webpage, right-hand corner, type in 5N230846. It is that 2023 Logan Coach Select 814 Four Horse Living Quarters. All my contact info will show up on your screen. My name is Michaela Geis. Copy down that stock number, shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call. 
Let me know you're interested in 5N, 230, 846. I'm glad to send you all this stuff. I'm glad to show you guys here on the lot or take any additional pictures or videos that you guys need. I'd love to help you out. So feel free to text me, 303-918-6367. Shoot me an email, Michaela, period, guys, transwest.com. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Have a great weekend, and we'll see what next week brings.